Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. He can show you better than we can read. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book. I hope the children of God is running with me. I tell you how to run. Read. Read for yourself. Learn. Learn about him because that's what he delights. By coming to RunAllGodsChildren.com, this is not going to teach you how to be saved. It's going to teach you what God is about to do. He's going to show you what's written, the promise he have given to us and the only father sent him. And that's if you believe. For our God has an only father God. Oh, only Father, our God, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the power, thy is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please forgive me, children. When I start praying before you, I've it's a fearful thing to come in the hands of the Lord. I received the holy book about 40 years ago. But I read to you, if you've been coming, that it is written, when you pray, pray our Father, which art in heaven. But it's written, get in the closet close the door but I'm doing this before you because it seems like God's children don't know who God is and it seems as if they don't understand or distinguish the difference between the only father God and the Father God that he gave unto us, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's what I'm here to do, is to show all God's children that we are the children of our Lord and Savior. Because I read that all things were created by Jesus Christ. And when it's written about another prayer, it is, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restore my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley, the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And that's another prayer. 
that is written. And what we're doing is reading about our Lord and Savior, the true and living word. And I thank you for coming to runallgodschildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He's going to show you what is written. Well, children of God, let's get to studying. Let's learn about our Lord and Savior and what he's teaching us through his words. St. Matthew, the 15th chapter, the 8th and 9th verse. Hi, children of God. St. Matthew, the 15th and the 8th and ninth verse. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips and their hearts is far from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching the doctrines, the commandments of men. If the children of God do not know what our Lord God hates and what he delights, we are those that are drawn nigh with the mouth and honor him with the lips. Our hearts is far from him. This is why I wrote to us. This is why he wrote to us. But in vain do they worship me, teaching for the doctrines, the commandments of men. This is the time the teacher will be our Lord and Savior. As you read, as I have read to you, Jeremiah. 23rd chapter, the 20th verse. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he execute, executed, and until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the later days, ye shall consider it perfectly. Who Believe our Lord God's word. Come to runallgodschildren.com. We will read and our Lord will show us. And remember what's written. In the later days, you shall consider it perfectly. In verse 8, this people draw nigh with their mouth and lips heart far from them. Wherefore the Lord said for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me but have removed their heart far from me and their fear towards me is taught by the percept of men. Percept, a general rule intended to regulate behavior or thoughts. A writ or warrant. I had to look up what writ mean, W-R-I-T. A form of written command in the name of a court or other legal authority or act or substance of acting in some way. And then to have parentheses, one's wit, one's power to enforce compliance or submission, one's authority. 
You're wondering what that got to do with what I just read to you about the drawing away with their mouth and their lips do honor him, but remove their heart far from me and their fear towards me is taught by the percept of man. He tells us how man do it. That's why I called on our Lord and Savior. Because of the trickery. I read that to you. It's written that they honor them with their mouths and their hearts are far from them. But you need to keep reading and studying. Knowledge of the holy will give you understanding. Wherefore, the Lord said, Now you understand why I ask you to talk to them that is head of God's house, so I will know who believe our Lord God's word. And I will know if they know the beginning of wisdom is to fear the Lord. And as it is written, St. John, the 16th chapter, the 14th verse, he shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. And I showed you, I called on the Lord, and I received my testimony that I am reading to you and showing you what God is going to show you, who these people are. I'm running for the prize in the Holy Book to share with all God's children. I'm just a child of God that called on our Lord and Savior and his Father, the only Father God. Saint, the eighth verse of St. Matthew, this people draw nigh again with their mouth. He told us this way back in Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, the 31st verse. And do you think we learned anything from it? And they come unto thee as the people cometh. They sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy words but they will not do them. For their mouths, they show much love, but their heart goes after their covenants. I had to look up what covenants is. Having to show a great desire to possess something belonging to someone else. You know what I'm reading to you. If you're getting offensive at what I'm reading, then believe one thing. I'm doing my job. My job is to tell the truth in the testimony I receive. It's the truth. Because our God, Lord and Savior, became the true and living word. Oh, children of God, I'm only doing my job, reading, running and learning about our Lord and Savior with you. This is the last time the truth will be read. There is people that sit with us that show us much love. And do they want to possess something belonging to someone else? 
Do Lord God's children know who they are? I don't. That's why I called on the Lord. And I don't believe nobody else do. But he's going to separate his children. Who believe? Those that believe will learn of him. Read St. Matthew, the 15th chapter. Know about our Lord God that wrote to us about people. This is why I need our Lord and Savior. I read to you knowledge of the Holy gives you understanding. The doctrine and commandments, men, women too, this is in the ninth chapter, the ninth verse of the 15th chapter. Doctrine, the commandment, Colossians, the second chapter, the 22nd verse, which all are to perish with the using after the commandment and doctrines of men. But do you think God would let his children perish? Oh, no. Why do you think it's written the truth will be told and the truth will make you free and i'm telling you not something i'm thinking about something i know the truth is our lord and savior what he promised what he's going to do to us we need to be ashamed of ourselves. He's been taking care of us through all this stuff and nobody recognizes him. That hurt, hurt my feelings. Oh no, I'm not him. <laughs> Y'all believe one thing. I'm running in the race to be the son of Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ. For the only father gave me my testimony from what I read to share with all God's children. So I ask you to go back and tell them that about in God's house. Because I really do believe that they know what I'm talking about. What do men teach God's children? Which all are to perish with the using after the commandment and doctrine of men. But they tell us about God. How do they? I know, but I can't tell. Hey, who would believe me? What do men teach God's children? I know they talk about God. Are they teaching how to be saved to them that believe? I read that to you. It amused God that man teach them to be saved that believe. Who believe our Lord God's word? Doctrine. I figure I better look that up because we know what commandment is, I believe. But doctrine, a belief or set of beliefs held and taught by the church, 
politically party, a political party, and other groups. I know God's word is the law, the commandment of our Lord and Savior. That's what the holy words are for our learning. I know that God's word is the law and the commandments of our Lord and Savior. Oh, children of God, if the children don't know the house of prayer, they will never understand the fullness thereof. Remember what I just read to you? Want, wanting to possess something that is not theirs. That is promised. Eternal life to the children. Titus. The first chapter, the 14th verse not giving heed to Jewish fables, fables and commandments of men and turn from the truth, that turn from the truth. He tell us about the commandments of men that turn from the truth. He tell you that they read and they won't do it. But who? Fables, F-A-B-L-E-S, a short story, typically with animals as characters, conveying a moral, a story, typically a supernatural one, incorporating elements of myth and legend, a false statement or belief. Fable. That's what they say, don't go to the Jewish, and the Jewish give you fables. I called on Lord God Almighty because I cannot tell the difference between them and God's children. Can you? The commandment of men, how do they use God's word? The book of Titus is what to teach and what not to teach. I'll read that again. The book of Titus is what is teach and what not to teach. Read for yourself. Jose, the fourth chapter, the seventh verse. This is us again. And when we start crying to God, you will remember he been taken care of. We should be ashamed of ourselves. Not just you, me too. I didn't know all this until I received the word, my testimony. Jose, the fourth chapter, the seventh verse. As they were increased, so they sin against me. Therefore, I change their glory to shame. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore, I change their glory to shame. He's going to show us. We should be ashamed of ourselves. We giving in to something 
We know more about evil than we do about our God. Hosea again, the sixth chapter. And it's H-O-S-E-A. Hosea. But the sixth chapter, the seventh verse. But they, like men, have transgressed the covenant. You know what the covenant is, don't you? The law of God. They, there, have they dealt treacherously against me. In the beginning, it was a beguile word. It was a word called beguile. That's what he did to God's children. But it didn't make no difference. Because God's going to take care of us. He forgive us for everything that had been happening. But that don't mean you can need to keep doing it. Because you know right from wrong. It is written, even a child no right from wrong. Read Hosea. You will read God's judgment for sin. All of it is the go read it. What I am doing is running in the race before ye, God's children. And if nobody think that this is important enough to tell somebody, I feel sorry for you because God knows. See, it ain't me know. God knows. I'm the runner. I am going to be my Lord and Savior son to show all God's children that we are the son of the only father. We are the children of the only father son and as i said this when i started off this journey the only father would not create anything like us to turn against him no we turned against his son that's why he pleading with us. And this will be the last time the plea will be plead to us. Welcome to runallgodschildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He's going to show you. And I thank you for coming to runallgodschildren.com. I keep bringing this up because the father, the only father, the one they say is their God, and surely he is God. He told his son to sit down. He's going to get this world. We need to get together. Welcome, children, to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. And may the Lord be with us in the name of the only Father God. Thank you.